guys you might have noticed we've been doing a little bit more sponsored content lately and that helps finance our bills because they're not cheap we got the cat in the f-350 we got compound turbo cummins and silverado and we appreciate you guys watching but we can't work hard all the time so we use some of the money and we bought a tank <laughs> <laughs> oh, best day at work ever. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you I think I'm glad I came along for the ride. Yeah. This is, uh... <laughs> well, Kevin, you you know all about tanks. Yeah, know all about tanks. So the top looks a little different than the ones I've seen in, in previously. <laughs> I love the steering. It's uh. It's all legit. All the pieces are here. It's numbers matching. <laughs> you see this there? Yeah. <laughs> so the coolest thing is that the steering wheel actually works. It's connected to the tracks and uh, left is left and right is right. So he's got the steering actually hooked up to the tracks. So the steering wheel does actually turn the thing. And then this puts it in forward and reverse, I think, and I think you manually have to put it in um, high or low in the back. There's no there's no lever for that yet. I'm sure we'll do some upgrades to it, but um, it's a running, moving, driving <laughs> truck tank. So we bought this thing a month or so ago. We're just grabbing it now because we have some time. In the meantime, I'm not an army buff at all. Like, I'm not, but Kevin actually is huge into World War II. This would have been a later model with the wider tracks and the HVSS horizontal velocity spring suspension, I think is what it stands for. But rather than this spring being straight up and down, it's horizontal and it used four idlers instead of two. So this would have been a later model, 1944 or so. I think the US made 49,000, something like that of these Sherman tanks. And I think Canada contributed five or 800 of them in Montreal. I love the suspension and the, it's just sitting on some wooden blocks and bolted in you six spots. <laughs> oh, no, it's only bolted in four spots. Oh yeah, it's back here. Yeah. So you could have this thing off in like an hour and put maybe like a smart car on it or a limo or- Nissan Leaf. A Nissan Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I think the animals have been in here. Yeah, but it's, it's crew cab, so there's room for <laughs> room to take there's the whole room family. Room for friends. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty gross. <laughs> you have to press the back seat's okay, and more than likely the back seat is the same as the front, so we can just move this one to the front. Wow. But I don't think anything is hooked up to the inside the cab. I think everything is just the uh, steering and this just the steering and it all or shifter here <laughs> and the handle yeah as so, far as brakes so, and gas and that's nothing so the brake is the master for the clutch oh right because it's a manual transmission so that will disengage yeah except that the slave is broken or the master's broken so now you just have to idle it down real low and jam it in gear. <laughs> so well, how do you is there any throttle control yeah here? that's the e-brake so you Put your e-brake down and that's your throttle. Yep. And then to uh, shut it off, you just pull on it and put it all the way up. <laughs> that's your kind of, that's well, your I, think you, I think you need like a training. <laughs> the, it's a 40 the hour. Manual. Read the manual. It's a 40 hour course of the, for doing a truck. I think this one's a 60. Uh, there's yeah. a hole in the floor that's custom. That's for water drainage. I and think... they, they shot the windshield on purpose. Uh, that I don't understand. Well, it's a tank. You gotta get shot at. Yeah, that's true. There's no bullet holes in the undercarriage, so. Well, uh, I think this this uh, top part here is good. 
a date with VNR. <laughs> the 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 whole truck? Yeah. No. Yeah. No way. That's the coolest part of it. It's a it's from BC. It's in good shape. People pay big bucks for this. Yeah. Cool on it. Um, we're gonna fire it up, and uh, VNR has come to the rescue. They're gonna tow this home. I can see your hydraulics are unhooked. Oh, it has a hydraulic motor itself? Hydraulic pump on it. Oh, right? yeah. Or something. Nice. All right, so you guys remember Optimus Brian, um, and that truck was complete junk. I knew that, but we wanted to do a, a truck pull with it. Um, it. Didn't even make it that far. So we put out the call and said, if anybody's got a truck, let us know. And actually, Davis, you emailed us and said you had another Astro. Well, I knew where one was sitting. The guys stormed one on our property, and I said, well, it might be something you're interested in. And then we were talking back and forth, and I said, well, something else you might be interested in, too. Uh, my uncle's got a little something something sitting back here so yeah just figured i'd send out the email and right here we are yeah so peter this is your this is your yep. track and so so what's the story behind it well i used to use it to dig black muck and we use it on the medill and i would pull black muck back and forth and we had cables hooked on the other side and we could pull across the swamp uh thousand feet 1500 feet and i had a six yard bucket on it and then we finished the job and it sat there for quite a while. <laughs> so and it was then, in the swamp? Oh, it was down in the swamp. <laughs> I was supposed to go get it and I never did. You know how everything goes in life. You forget yes. about stuff and we yes. didn't do it, eh? And, and then uh, farm sold, you got to get it out of there. So then we went down and, and the thing sat for 10 years and fired right up. So I was shocked and yep. we loaded everything out and and then uh, you come along. Yeah. And now you're a proud owner. And now I'm a proud owner of a tank. Of this thing. Yeah. Other than my my kids being born and getting married, this is probably yeah. one of the best days of my life so far. <laughs> well, so you don't know if it was ever in service or no. if it left or what no. exactly it is. No. All I know it was a, a 009 winch okay. that they used to haul logs out of the off the the mountains onto the plateau. Okay, so repurposed military equipment, whether yep. it was sitting there ready to go and the war ended, and then they're like, let's... They made a, a, something a, out of a it. winch out of it. And yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. interesting. So, yeah, it might never even have had a tank on it. Mm, no, I don't know. We, we don't know, okay. No. Powering it? Uh, 471 Detroit. Okay, but you said it was under power? Oh yeah, way <laughs> under power, man. <laughs> so, so they're what, 140 horse? Yeah, 140, 100. 50, I think, yeah, something so like that. Depends. I, the winch pack, what was on this, uh, it was over 500 horse. Okay. Okay. And it had, a, some had cats in it and some had Detroit B12s in it. Oh, okay. And uh, some of these tanks, when they were made, they had a, Detroit made a, a, a 12 cylinder that laid down flat and the pistons went sideways. Okay. And they had them in here. And then they had where two six, 71 side by each yep. actually i have way over there of <laughs> one of those gearboxes and everything oh really yes interesting and um, a bunch of stuff uh was sent over to england to the gamble boys and uh uh the museum or something over in england bought it for the okay. tank and it had all the mechanism and the front stuff for the engine and everything okay. for that okay and uh, it was pretty cool. So, so let's fire right up and we can load on the trailer. No, go get your batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a button in the front. <laughs> oh, you did have it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna I say. I have a button from sitting and everything. It, it don't work too good. Okay. So now I, I got a new ignition key, and it's called a screwdriver. Should, should we make sure it's a neutral <laughs> first? Or? I'll check it. Out. <laughs> now the bolts in. Okay. The emergency brake. Yep. Okay. Has to go down for the throttle. Okay. So when you go to shut it off, you pull that and it shuts the engine off. Okay, that's my kill switch. Should we check the oil? No. It's in Detroit. <laughs> well, we can. Check the fuel and fill the oil, that's it. Uh, it's not the low, but we're good. 
There's oil in it. There's oil in it. All right. It back. sounds like it's our fingers like across the uh, start batteries there. Try it again. That one right there. This one? Loose. Yep. Waste grips. Okay, try it now. Amazing. Uh. Fuel. What? Uh, Fuel run back in the tank. That's what I'm wondering. Full air now. Well, we got something leaking. Yeah. So she's probably empty now. Yeah. Alright, let me go get some a knife and some more hose. Okay. And we'll do an operation. Okay, sounds good. We'll bypass. I don't know much about them, but I think these points are still fairly round from all the pictures that I saw. It doesn't look like it's all wore here. Um, these were steel on the bottom, which don't really wear, and then the rubbers are starting to get cracked here. So our idlers on the top are probably the worst off but i see there's rubber on the inside of the tracks here and that that's pretty chewed so that that's not great because whatever repairs we have to do to this thing is probably very very expensive <laughs> <laughs> if you guys know how to put rubber tracks on these tracks these are the 16 inch wide which were better for flotation and had the double idlers then uh, definitely let us know. We'd like to drive this down the road at some point. I think it'll last a while, but we... That's, that's the best I can tell. Um, tracks are tight enough, so I don't know whether each pin of these are worn or what, but um, I don't even know how to tighten it. I think every bolt you go to try and take out on this thing is going to be stuck. I think so. Let's, let's hope that nothing breaks. I don't, I don't know how you would adjust this. How do you make, it must move the idler in the back. That must be on a cam or something. Oh, I see the locking ring and everything. Yeah. That's cool. So that's that. So this is on a cam. Take out your stopper. Yeah, you pop that off, you put a big ass giant wrench on here, and then you turn this out and that would move the idler wheel this way. So the tracks are pretty tight and we've got a little ways to go on this one. That track is in much better shape. So that cam is straight down. We got Maybe a long it just has more rubber on it. Yeah. Out comes the ether. <laughs> <laughs> it was running. We don't need ether. <laughs> They're not the only one that uses ether. What kind of oil? Is Turn your loose in the middle of the field. Are you guys sitting in the back? Well, that's the redneck way, isn't it? <laughs> oh, did you just break it? I think I just broke my head. <laughs> you want to give me a lesson, Pete? Yeah. Okay. Hold on.
That's just forward and reverse? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a mechanism down there, right? Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, that okay. Now pull yeah. back up a bit. Okay. <laughs> so, so that that didn't feel 100. percent Just take a look at that mechanism. Make sure it doesn't break anything. That. <laughs> Under here, where the levers are up there, where the shifter is, okay, there's a fork right over there. Yeah, yeah, I see the fork. Okay, and that's got different gears there. Forward and reverse, and then you go that way and you got more gears. Oh, okay. Your yard is not quite the same after the donuts and the interrogators. Let's rip it up to the tank. <laughs> My wife loves it. The Audi and then the, then the interrogator and the, uh, the tank. Here's the deal. That thing is underpowered because they just leave it in low gear. That's not acceptable. This thing does 26 mile an hour and we got to be able to do 26 mile an hour. It, it, it's, yeah. it's like, it's very bumpy when it's slow. So I think if we do a lot faster, it'll smooth out. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so we can put the V6 in here or if you go way back into the airport graveyard that we visited, he had a brand new radial engine out of an airplane in there that was brand new. He said 30 grand for that. If we can get 10,000 likes on this video, and everybody, every one of those people buys a truck tank t-shirt, we can, we can buy that engine and we'll throw that engine in here at, at, at some point. That's uh, a brand new, he, he, it was in a box. We didn't even get to see the engine. I don't even know if it'll fit. So let, let's make that the challenge. Then we have something comparable to another truck that's pretty impressive on the internet. <laughs> so we need a cool name. It's not Monster Max 3.0. We need a good name for it. Definitely comment down below as oh, to yeah. what you think. Yeah. Not even that bad. <laughs> not even that bad. And you, All the trim is still on. <laughs> and you think my truck is bad, and this one's good. Your truck is worse than this. <laughs> the worst part of it is the fender here. But look, the rockers are even here. Look at, no, like a BC truck. You can definitely tell all the rockers are still here. Um, and don't look at this. This is, this is access for something. But the trim is still there. That'll be fun. Yes. Just remember, if anything happens, hit the... Pull the e-brick. You got it. Are you hopping down? So, pumping the pedal is just for show because it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Might just happen. <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh, easy peasy. It's so user friendly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
pull them off. We can torch the place off too. Trusty Prince's auto strap holding our hood closed as we're going down the road at 90 mile an hour. It's only fitting because Prince's auto used to be a uh, military surplus store. So I don't know what other mods we can uh, do with whatever they got in the store, but for now, the strap's gonna have to do. That ain't going nowhere. Keep your hand on the e-brake and pull where, the e-brake back. Where are, we, where are we attempting to drive this Just straight down the driveway. <laughs> I think we got a couple That's more a good speed. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. I really don't like that you let me drove over one of your cars. Okay. <laughs>